Hey guys, the Terminator 360 here. I always really wanted a 1000 piece tournament of elements set that really replicated the main area of it, the arena. So I made my own mock. 1000 piece tournament of elements UCS set with my own minifigure selection. If you enjoyed this, please make sure to like and subscribe. This took me a really long time to design and make and show your support for the channel. So having all that said, let's go. So let's start with the actual build itself. I used a lot of things to make this. I used two tournament of elements official arenas. I used the Ghostbusters Dimensions pack, Kai's Epic Battle Set, Jay's Epic Battle Set, and a lot of parts from my own collection. Let's start at the front and make our way backwards. First of all, each of the tournament elements that had two of these serpentine flags with the swords crossing which stuck out from the back, so I, ha I put them on each side to make it look grand and kind of really cool. In the front are these sliding doors from the Ghostbusters Dimensions pack which I modded heavily so they would fit in this arena. And they are sliding doors, which is really cool. And you have that little arena there, which is meant to replicate the area where Chen and Lloyd fought. Really, really cool scene. And then this part up here is from Kai's epic battle set. From Jay's epic battle set is like the centerpiece, this serpent head, which is incredible. We have this double-sided using the new Jade Blade pieces in the middle right there. Bird's eye view, you can see that I, I still continued the like arena kind of thing. I just made it bigger. And then those two green, really cool roof shackles are from the Ghostbusters set itself. We have at the front, going back real quick, we have some crates, one with weapons over here with some greenery there, and one with roller blades. If you remember that really cool scene in Tournament of Elements when they were all roller blading, and it's kind of a stack so they fit, and it's really cool. They just put it back in there. It's like the back to the railings you can see um we have some weapons here and the vases which they smashed to get the jade blades inside then we have that green shackle i was talking about um for the little i don't know what to call them the top you have i had these green jade blade pieces that are like hooks on top of helmets sticking out just to give it more feel and texture her side kind of follows the same pattern on that area there with the vases and green swords for like weapons for them to get but this side here, I have Hook Klaus's Legacy Spellbook, as well as the original Jade Bait piece and a bone. I just think that looks really cool. I kind of stabilized it with those two red transparent pieces, and I think it looks really cool. As I said, the railing goes all the way. And I have this little centerpiece with those hooks. Here is the little arena. It has a circle in the middle. That's just how the Dimensions Packs works, and it looks amazing. We also have these sides here with those specially molded door pieces, which make it look really traditional and cool. And you have space for minifigures, little training things, and all that good stuff there. And if we turn it to the back, it looks re really cool. Um, you can see it has it, just the look, and it looks like a really cool all-around arena. I added some greenery on the back so it wouldn't just be open, and I think that did its job pretty well. I also did the same thing on the other side. And this is honestly one of my dream sets, a really big Tournament of Elements mock. I really wish Ninjago would get more UCS, UCS set styles, because the bigger sets haven't been as good as they used to be. Like that's the big set from a few years ago, and this is the most recent big set. Yeah. This set would include a total of nine minifigures. I would include Legacy 2 Kai, Cole, Jay, my custom Legacy 2 Zane. We'll talk about how I did him later. Legacy 2 Lloyd, Legacy Samurai X, also a creative choice we'll talk about later. Chen, Skylar, and Klaus. Now, these are just the main characters from the season. Of course, all the ninja, the main ally, Skylar, and the main villains, Chen and Klaus. Now, let's dive in. As deep. some of you may have noticed, I did upgrade all the ninja. I gave them all their hair headband bandana pieces from season 14, except Cole, he got his movie one. And I think it just looks really cool and fits the sleeveless style of these suits. I said I'd talk about Zane. What I did was I got that non-canon tournament of elements, Zane switched out the arms to be silver and put on his season 14 masked hair and, and hood you can get it really anywhere and i think it fits in perfectly with the rest of the ninja samurai x isn't the legacy 2 minifigure it actually came in the destiny's bounty which would be considered legacy 1 but the legacy 1 samurai x is really close the one that came in the legacy samurai x mech to the original one and this looks a lot more like the rebooted and tournament of elements one so that's why i chose it there for skylar and chen i didn't change anything at all from their original minifigure forms because they're perfect and i hope to get them in legacy form soon but for klaus i did give him gravis's 
gravity piece that came in the original tormented element set since i had two i had four of those shields to replicate this kind of magic from the show and yeah that's it for the mini figure if you haven't already make sure to hit my channel below with a subscribe comment down below feedback on this as it's my first big mock presentation click the video up there to watch my tutorial on season 15 lloyd click the video there to watch my compilation of all island sets and click the last video for me upgrading chompy the jungle dragon signing off for now see you next time